A deadly attack on civilians in the city of Zaporizhia early Sunday. Russian rockets striking residential buildings, partly destroying a high rise and leveling others. Ukrainian officials saying dozens were injured, including children. The strikes a day after an explosion caused the partial collapse of this bridge, linking the Crimean Peninsula with Russia. The bridge, a vital supply link for the Russian military, engulfed in flames. These satellite images showing the extensive damage. Russia saying traffic is flowing again. In Kharkiv, Ukrainian officials say parts of an intercepted Russian missile crashed into this residential building. Other pieces landing in the street, demining specialists removing the weapon. Teams like this working hard in the newly liberated areas to clear explosives. As Ukraine takes back more land in the south and east, many of those areas have not only been destroyed, but deadly landmines have been left behind. And that's where these guys come in. They're training at the moment to clear landmines in those areas, something which could take months or even years. But amid rising fears of a nuclear attack, President Joe Biden warning of the risk of nuclear war. At a New York City fundraiser last week saying we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. The White House initially walking back the president's remarks. But on ABC's This Week, White House spokesperson John Kirby defended his comments to ABC's Martha Raddatz. The president was reflecting the very high stakes that uh, they're in in play right now. Adding Putin can end the conflict but has not indicated plans to do so. Mr. Putin started this war and Mr. Putin could end it today simply by moving his troops out of the country. Um, he's the one who chose uh, to, to start this conflict again. He can choose uh, to end it. And, and the president was talking about uh, uh, finding a way to, to, to end this war, which we all want to do. Britt Klenet, ABC News, Kyiv, Ukraine.